What's up YouTube? Mr. Flat Gap here. Um, just want to make a video real quick. I couldn't find anything on YouTube when I was looking at it. Um, and it's just a trailer upgrade that I got. Um, a hydraulic jack that I put on here. Um, if you've ever had these dual landing gears uh, on each side, you know what a pain they could be to to retract and go to the other side and, and keep cranking. Um, I'm working with just a 16 plus five Gator made deck over. Good trailer, uh, nothing wrong with it. It's done me fine, made right here in Kentucky. Uh, but I just didn't like the jack setup on it. Um, and I wanted something quicker, something easier to where I can unhook and unhook, excuse me, unhook and hook very easy. Um, with this Demco, all you got to do is just put it up and you're ready to go when you got that. Um, but I've been looking at those electric jacks and the capacity on them isn't great and they're super slow and they're pretty expensive. If you look at the Bulldog one, I think it's over a thousand dollars. And for the speed and what you get and the ease of insulation, I just for my application, it wasn't worth it. Um, so electric really wasn't what I wanted to do. So I started looking into, into hydraulic jacks and the, the only name that came up was Stillwell that was solid. Uh, they're American made, Diamond City runs them on their trailers. Uh, so I knew they had to, be, had to be pretty good. So I called them up, talked to them for a while about what I wanted to do. Uh, their customer service was great. They talked to me uh, for a while, um, and I hadn't even bought anything off of them yet. Um, so I got some information. I went online. I looked at their jacks. They've got a an Atlas. I believe it's a 10K, maybe a 12K. You'll have to – I'll put a link down below here. Um, but I ended up getting just this tradesman one that they put on some of their dump trailers. Uh, it's a 75 – 7,500 pound capacity. Um, like I said, most people put them on dump trailers because they already have the pump and everything already set up in their toolbox. So you just get a diverter valve with your kit, the jack, um, some hoses and lines and, and everything to hook it up. But I didn't need all that, so I just needed their jack. Um, so I went online and I looked up how much they were and I came across this one at Surplus Warehouse. I'll throw a link to it down below. It was either 65 or $69, I can't remember, but it was really cheap for what you get. And you get everything, you get everything right here. You don't get the lines, you just get the jack, the mounting hardware, the foot plate down there, um, and all that. So that's, you know, you can't even buy a regular, one of those 12K jacks for that price. Um, so I, I got it. I called Stillwell back, talked to him again about what I was doing, and I bought their hose kit, which is these two, these two hoses right here that you see. They send you four fittings, two for there, and then two for your pump in here to hook up to. Uh, again, great customer service, told them what I needed. They knew the fittings, the fittings that I needed. They asked me the length. And they got it to me in under a week. Again, American made. I, I can't say enough about their customer service. It's just, it's outstanding. And in this day and age, that's, that's hard to find. Um, they also, I got lucky. They ended up giving this to me for free, the lines. I'm not sure why. Um, I started to give him my credit card. He said, you know what? I'm just going to send them out to you for free. I didn't tell him I was making a video or anything. He just... For whatever reason, he did it. Um, so that was awesome of them. I really appreciate that. You know, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. Um, so that was good. So I didn't have hardly anything in it, especially after getting the jack for cheap and getting those for free. Um, the pump I'm running is a Vivor pump. It is a eight quart pump. It's two stage or two way, whichever way you want to call it. So an up and a down. Some of the dump trailer pumps, they just go up, but they don't come down with power because they're gravity fed. So you make sure that if you want to do this upgrade or this modification, 
that you get a, a two-way that goes up and down. Uh, I'd never heard of Evor. Um, they're making all kinds of stuff these days, I see. Obviously, they don't make this. They're just rebranding it, sticking their name on there. But it's a lot cheaper than, than what everybody else is using. Uh, I don't know why. I'm sure it's Chinese made, but I've not had any issues with it. No leaks from any of the fittings down here. Um, after we tested it, we tightened everything. No leaks from up here either. So it's all good. I can't, I don't have anything bad to say about this pump. Again, uh, it was cheap and it's it was what I needed. I, I would suggest though, if you're just doing the hydraulic jack for your tongue jack, just this alone, but I wouldn't get as big of a reservoir as I've got. I've got an eight quart and it's, it's more than enough. Um, I would get the, the smaller six quart. I think, I don't know if they make a smaller one than that, a four quart, but I know a six quart will work and it'll save you some room and a little bit of money. Um, I got the plastic here. I just kind of wanted to see my, my fluid levels. They have a, a metal one. that's probably a little bit more solid, but it doesn't, you can't look inside of it. Um, and other than that, I got this toolbox at Harbor Freight, this old, this old cheapy. Mounted it up here just with some four nuts and bolts. Uh, your pump only mounts, it's got two, it's got two bolts underneath, pre-threaded into that motor, and it just mounts with two bolts. So all you gotta do is drill you two holes, uh, find your bolt pitch and thread, and you're good to go. Uh, it's really that simple. Um, like I said, the box, it's a cheap Harbor Freight box, but it keeps the water out actually surprisingly well. Um, so it's not bad. The top here is faded already. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's a different color than, well, it's dirty. You probably can't see that, but it's a different color than that black. That doesn't bother me, it bothers some people, but I'm good with that for, for the cheap price you pay. Um, you should get a deep cycle battery in here. Uh, this is just an Optima yellow top. Make sure if you get an Optima, you get the ones with the gray cells. So it's not a starting battery. Uh, I would recommend an AGM battery as well. They're a little bit better for, you know, draining it and coming back, draining it and coming back. I also added a Solar Pulse 3 solar charger. Uh, to keep it topped off so we don't run it all the way down. Uh, just mounted it up here with some adhesive, two-sided. I'm sorry, no, we use magnets on this. That's what we ended up using, I believe. Yeah, just a bunch of bunch of magnets and uh, it stays at 70 miles an hour. No issues with that. Just run your wire back here, drill the hole, put your grommet in. That's just some winch, winch cable going in there as well. Uh, that's the pulsar. I just put some. Uh, can't even think of what that's called now. Uh, shoot, that's silly. Uh, but anyways, just to keep the water out, silicone, uh, and all that hooks up to your battery. You know you're charging. I mean, uh, this little guy's red. It's not going to show it now. Um, it's a simple hookup here. You've just got your motor right here and you've got a wire going from it obviously to the battery to that battery just like a dump trailer here you've got your control up and down and let me show you how easy this is um, to take off here so that's your down and we're unhooked and it's just as simple as that. Uh, it goes up quite a ways. I think it's a two foot stroke on it, but it's as handy as can be. Uh, you can see it goes right down on your ball there. Comes right back up. It's that quick. I know it doesn't seem like a big thing, this upgrade, but if you've ever dealt with these jacks um, and you're hooking and unhooking a lot, 
I'd highly recommend it. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. I won't go back to a trailer that doesn't have this on it. Um, I know I'll probably have to put it on my next trailer, but anything this heavy, uh, I think you should get one. If you're even on the fence about it, if you're watching this video, uh, go ahead and do it. You won't regret it. Especially if you can piece it together like I did here uh, for pretty cheap. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money doing it. And it's awesome. I can I can tell you that it, it's just awesome. And this trailer weighs 5,000 pounds. It picks it up like it's nothing. I don't, my rig that I haul on this, the only thing I haul is a, is a rock crawler and it's about 4,000 pounds. So you're looking at nine all together. Um, and even with that on there, it picks it up no issues uh, I would have got the the heavier duty jack but you're not picking up really that much weight just on your tongue up here even if you're loaded um, obviously your mileage may vary if you're on a big heavy skid or some kind of equipment or something like that uh, but with this setup that I've got again it's just a 16k trailer uh, Gator May throw a little winch on there but it's been great so if you're on the fence, I'd definitely do it. I'll throw some links to the parts I had here uh, if you're interested so you can get them a little bit cheaper. Um, again, I'm just making this because I didn't see anything out there about a hydraulic jack trailer upgrade that people have done. Just wanted to show you that it can be done. It's not hard. Um, cut this down a little bit. And it's real simple. I just welded a nice thick piece of C-channel in there, to both sides of the frame, tied it in, just drilled some holes and it bolts right in. And that's literally all you have to do to mount your jack. Um, did the same thing with the toolbox. I mean, if you're looking into this, you can probably mount a toolbox. I have two pieces of angle, four bolts, four holes, and you're done. Um, and, and that's it. So I hope this helped somebody out. Uh, if it did, give a like grab we'll start doing some more videos hopefully depending on how this one turned out if you have any questions leave them in the comments if i missed anything leave it in the comments if this just is totally terrible leave it in the comments i appreciate it y'all be safe have a good one